CSGO case starting items only have a thousand ID indexes, meaning there can only be 1,000 possible patterns, which is why blue gems are so rare and never perfect. But Gemshree Grigori actually stretched out the case starting texture on knives to see what they would look like in a perfect world, where you could actually get 100% blue gems on every single knife and they just look absolutely insane. Considering blue gems are constantly sold for tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, these would be a fortune. Summit was unboxing the $100 CSGO case and this happened. Imagine if I got a, uh, like this right here, got a blue dream. It's a stat track, not a blue dream, but stat track. <laughs> now, despite this being a stat track well-worn pink or about a 0.31 chance, this AK is quote unquote only $300, which is three times the amount of the case despite being about a 1 in 300 chance. If it was a pattern with more blue like this pattern 661 in stat track, it would have been worth somewhere in the low six figure range. This stat track pattern 661 sold for around that, but of course it does have a quarter of a million dollars worth of stickers on it. Many months ago, this 5.7 got sniped the instant it got put on the Steam market for just 100 bucks. It's got two reason hollows, which are $40,000 each right now, but the guy who currently owns it has six pages worth of case hardens in his inventory. Now, I don't know if this guy is some sort of bot that snipes really good patterns on the Steam market or what, but he's got all blue gems ranging from some low tiers, some 5.7s worth a few hundred bucks, to some in the mid thousand dollar range, and tons of different knives in the game with most of them for sale for, once again, a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars. Arrow was unboxing a hundred dollar CSGO weapon cases and this happened. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Look at the, mag. the magazine! Look at that mag! Six, 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 six. The good news is this is definitely worth overpay. It's a pattern 716 with a 0.666 float value as well actually. There's quite a few listed and field tested for a bit less than 700 so it's probably worth like 500 to 600. He also unboxed a stat track pattern 624 with a 0.333 float value which is listed as a tier 2 blue gem and started at $444 in non stat track field tested and it's honestly a nice budget 661. This is what a 100% blue gem AK could look like if it was possible to get in game. Now, unfortunately, it's not because the pattern template looks like this. It's very big and always includes bits of gold, blue, and purple because of that. These theoretical options zoom in on this pattern template and make really unique patterns a possibility. And although some of these options would look really sick in game, it probably won't ever happen. Since Sparkles is often trying to craft new number one skins, I guess he has people that collect the skins for him, and today someone accidentally crafted the number one pattern number one float 57 blue gem pattern 690 there's currently one listed for $1,300 so they aren't too expensive but trading up to this is so hard it's a one in a thousand pattern so technically this is the same chance of getting a number one AK blue gem even though it's obviously not worth anywhere near as much but if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory skins monkey is a great place to get rid of it not only do you get a free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up with that link in the description, you can also get a 35% deposit bonus while depositing with cash, crypto, or any of the other methods. And even if you don't want to trade, they have free daily giveaways to enter as well. Thanks to SkinsMonkey for sponsoring, once again, link in the description. This blue gem is worth $1.5 million, but this one is even rarer. This is a one of one pattern 888 minimal wear karambit blue gem. Its play side is entirely blue and the 888 pattern represents an incredibly lucky number in China. It's also currently in the inventory of Perfecto, professional player for Navi, but I don't think he actually owns it. What do you think this knife is worth? This guy unboxed a new number one blue gem pattern. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Go on! This is the pattern 130 Ursus knife. It's minimal wear and is surprisingly the 14 best Ursus blue gem pattern in the game. Similar ones started over three grand. Sli oh baby, slide it in, okay. slide it in. Oh, oh, I'm terrible, terrible, yes. terrible. Yes. The booty that is, butt is decently nice. blue. The ass is decently blue, but it's not enough. 
It's not. If this is close to 661, I'll snap. This was Onipixel's best unbox from its $100,000 unboxing. It's a pattern 782K, signed in field tested, and actually a tier 3 blue gem. It's got a really nice amount of blue on the mag, but most importantly, some on the top as well. Best case scenario, you could get a couple hundred dollars overpay for it. This Talon Knife blue gem pattern 923 was just bought by none other than Anomaly. It's the lowest float one in the world, and also the only one that's actually got a really low float, so it's it's not too surprising that this thing sold for just over 100,000 US dollars. Now, Anomaly isn't too unfamiliar with Blue Gems. He actually owned another talent called the Oceano Pattern 222, which is ranked as the number third pattern in the game. You've probably heard about the talent knife that Anomaly bought recently, a pattern 923 for just $111,000. What a banger. Well, what if I told you that you could have bought something incredibly similar on the Steam market for just 1% of that price? I wouldn't be lying. A pattern 55 in minimal wear got sold on the Steam market for just $1,700. $25. It's an entirely blue play side, and the only inventory that was actually registered to it is this guy. So I assume he just unboxed it and sold it without knowing what it was worth. So rip 100k. This is a normal Falchion knife blue gem. It's not too shabby, but this is a reverse blue gem Falchion knife, which is absolutely not anything special, but I'm gonna pretend like it is because it's kind of cool. Only eight of this pattern exists, and there's actually one in factory new. Now, unfortunately, the Falchion knife is so bad that when you inspect it, you can only see the handle like 50% of the time, but what do you think this thing's worth? For some unknown reason, Onopixel viewers have extreme luck when it comes to unboxing cases, and just today, somebody unboxed this. 8.008 extremely clean factory new pattern ID 4 Karambit Blue Gem. For comparison, well, there just isn't Karambit Blue Gem patterns that come this close to being this low of a float. It's as clean as you can get. Factory new Blue Gems are already pretty much non-existent. I mean, quick reminder that this number one Blue Gem Karambit got a $1.5 million offer that got declined, and it's a .04. These are just so rare, but... About a year ago, a guy unboxed one of the craziest knives in the world, a .08 Minimal Wear Nomad Pattern 700. It's not listed anywhere anymore because it's in a private inventory, but this is what I consider the best double-sided blue gem Nomad knife. It's almost entirely blue on both sides, but it's not the number one pattern. This one is apparently considered the best. Which one do you like more? This is the rarest Karambit blue gem you've probably never seen. It's got the name tag Blood in the Water and it's a pattern 509. Only 8 of these Karambits exist and this one on screen is one of the 4 minimal wear ones and just received an offer of a Karambit Sapphire for it, which are starting at $13,000. But it's not just any Karambit Sapphire, it's the 3rd lowest float in the entire game, a .0044 float value, and pretty much flawless. Would you accept? Today another blue gem, well sort of blue gem got unboxed, I'm over exaggerating a lot, but Arrow actually unboxed this pattern 723 gut knife case harden, and it actually doesn't look too bad in game. Now, compared to the actual good looking blue gems out there that get tons of overpay, karambits, maybe some nomad knives, they look pretty good, where do gut knives rank? Do they even get overpay? Well, it's genuinely hard to tell as there's not very many gut knife blue gem guides. I can tell you that the number one pattern is the 567 and they're listed in minimal wear starting at $1,800 and even though this knife definitely isn't worth anything around that, it still doesn't look half bad. This is the number one skeleton knife blue gem that just got unboxed over a year ago and hasn't even been sold yet. The only thing I know about this knife is that the second lowest float had an offer of over $150,000 on it and the owner refused it at that price. So this one is worth an absolute ton. What would you sell it for? One unfortunate thing about Source 2 so far is that the case hardened skins got absolutely destroyed for the time being. The update on March 24th completely changed the lighting and made some of them really dark for some reason. This is a minimal wear Nomad blue gem before and after the update, but it also made some blue gems look a lot better, like this Battle Scarred skeleton that looks a lot brighter. It is Battle Scarred, so it's hard to tell where we're gonna end up. Do you remember the Falchion Knife Reverse Blue Gem pattern that I talked about a few days ago with the entirely blue handle that I said wasn't really anything special, but it was kind of cool? 
Well, this guy Leafy CS decided he really liked it and is trying to buy all eight patterns in existence. Now, the pattern isn't necessarily worth any overpay as it's not really anything special, but adding the owners and getting them to sell is going to be really difficult. A pretty brand new Steam account just unboxed this minimal wear pattern 398 stat track blue gem stiletto and sold it on the Steam market for nothing yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does because the most expensive item in this guy's inventory besides his knife is 28 cents. The 398 is the number 3 best stiletto blue gem pattern and only 8 exist, this being the second lowest float and another minimal wear one is listed for just over 20 grand. What's he gonna do? This is what unboxing one of the rarest blue gems looks like. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Let's fucking go baby! Nice dude. Holy shit, stat track. Oh my god. Dude, it's like it's like 70% blue playside. Classic knives are only available in the CS20 case, compared to other blue gems which you're going to find in tons of different cases. Not to mention, they're relatively cheap. The number 3 pattern in Fuel Tested is for sale for just $15,000, while the number 1 skeleton pattern in Battle Scarred will run you over $20,000 over that, and OG knives like Karambits can easily fetch 6 figures. This is one of CSGO's worst blue gems, the pattern 3 57, except it's beyond battle start, 0.98 float value, and is currently for sale for nearly $4,400. Now the thing is, although it looks like it's fresh out of the garbage can in CSGO, currently in CS2 it actually looks really decent for what it is, and although I don't have video footage, this is what a 0.83 Karambit blue gem looks like in CS2. So unless things change, blue gems might get a lot more expensive. A bit less than a month ago, this really scuffed 0.90 Talon blue gem got unboxed. In factory new, this knife is currently being sold for $7,000, so even though this thing looks like it came fresh out of a garbage can, it could've possibly got some decent money. And the reason I say could've is because 11 days after this guy unboxed it, he got community banned on Steam. So needless to say, this guy isn't gonna be trading this knife for anything anytime soon. One of the most legendary C CSGO skins just got sold, a pattern 387 Karambit blue gem. Not only is this the best blue gem pattern in CSGO, it's of course the same pattern as the one in Factory New that got offered 1.5 million and declined a while ago. This one is actually duped as well and well worn and got sold for $118,000. Now blue gems right now look a lot brighter in CS2 than they did in CSGO and even though this probably won't stay, if it does this might have been a crazy good purchase. Believe it or not, Shadow Daggers have blue gem patterns too, and they're pretty interesting. This is the number one pattern 56 in minimal wear, the only pair that exists in minimal wear and one of the only 7 pairs in existence. These knives actually look pretty crazy in game as well, they're definitely unique and look really good when you inspect them too, they're also insanely bright. The only sale I know that's ever happened with these is a pair of Battle Scarred ones for Battle Scarred Pandora's boxes over a year ago, but they're probably worth a lot more now. Everyone knows that the AK Scar pattern is the best pattern in the game, with a stat track minimal wear version with 4 Titan Hollows currently on sale for like 400 grand, it's hard to compete. But there is arguably a better looking pattern, the reverse scar pattern number 670, which much like the normal scar pattern has a gold spot on the top of the gun, except it's towards the back of it instead of the front. Most recently, a field tested pattern has sold for $18,300, but someone actually sold a minimal wear one for just $1,500 late last year. About 3 years ago, Anomaly bought an insane blue gem collection of 6 different items, worth over 15 grand. What's included? Well, for starters, an AK pattern 555, the ninth best pattern and currently worth around 3600. Then a Bowie 182, the best pattern in fuel tested. Both sides are mirrored on this knife, so it looks really good. He bought it for 2500 at the time, and there's none listed now, but the cheapest thing closest is 3800. Then the bayonet pattern 555. He said it was worth four to five grand at the time and field tested, but now the cheapest listed is nine grand. Probably the best skin he got though was the pattern ID 10 Talon. It's surprisingly only the 18th best blue gem pattern for the Talon, worth only 4500 at the time. Now easily worth double that. 
He also got a stiletto in the Navaja as well, but as you could see, blue gems have just turned out to be a crazy investment. No joke, Onopixel is one of the coolest CSGO inventories in the world. Not only is it worth almost half a million dollars, but he's got skins in every department. Cattle 14 Crafts has recently picked up $50,000 souvenir op dragon lore, and just pages upon pages of other miscellaneous stuff, not including his questionable storage units. But one thing you might not know about his inventory is blue gems. He owns the number one pattern huntsman case hardened, one of six in the world. There is nothing close to this thing listed anywhere. So if I had to guess a price, it's like two to three grand, but that could be off by a lot. I have no clue. He also owns the number one Bowie knife pattern. Don't even ask me for a price on this, I have no idea. But it does look pretty cool. His AK is legendary though. It's a pattern 955 case hardened, which costs $9,300 by itself, along with about $70,000 worth of stickers on it. They're finally here. The latest CS2 update apparently just changed case hardened gloves from all looking the exact same in CSGO, despite having different pattern IDs, to finally looking different, which means we can finally get blue gem gloves and blue gem knife and glove combo. Assuming this doesn't get reverted, which it shouldn't because it got updated in the middle of CS2 and not at the beginning of it, apparently the best pattern found so far is the 31, but that's probably going to change as well. But with only 14 pairs of these gloves existing, are they the new blue gems? This is what unboxing a blue gem looks like. <laughs> This is the pattern ID 9 Karambit. It's the lowest float in existence, 0.13 minimal wear, and a nice looking blood in the water pattern. There's currently one listed in field tested stat track for 4500, so this one is easily worth 5 to 6 grand. This guy unboxed a two sided blue gem. Butterflies are cool because the pattern is reflected, it's the exact same on the front and the back. Unfortunately, the cleanest patterns don't look too crazy. The 494 and the 182 are kind of both considered the best patterns as they look pretty similar, but the 494 has a bit of a scar pattern going on too. A couple of months ago, this number one pattern blue gem nomad knife got unboxed and sold for only $300. It's one of seven in the world and worth around 50 grand. The guy that unboxed it has a pretty barren inventory worth a few bucks, and his steam comments are a little bit toxic, but would you pay 50k for this knife? This is the number one M9 bayonet blue gem pattern 601, and it just got sold for, drum roll. You guessed it, less than 10% of its actual value, but this time on buff. Only 12 of these knives exist with one of the other 4 well worn ones for sale for $26,000 and the third lowest minimal wear one for $55,000 and this one just sold for a mere $2,100. Apparently the seller has a really nice inventory, so this might have just been a weird way to transfer balance. You've probably seen fake sapphires before, but what about a fake blue gem? This is the Phase 3 Karambit Gamma Doppler Pattern 666. Only one exists in the world making it what I believe is the rarest fake item. Fortunately, there is a bunch of other patterns out there, there's an entire broskins guide on all of them, and there's a lot that come close to it number one looks wise. So if you don't have a spare $1.5 million for the world's best karambit, these are always available. This is the number 922 pattern Nomad Knife Blue Gem. This one is minimal wear and actually got sold on the Steam Market for $500 about two months ago, but it gets even crazier. This is the same exact knife, except it's well worn, and it just got unboxed a few hours ago. Personally, I think Nomad Knives are one of the best looking blue gems in the game, and the guy who bought the first one off the Steam Market is currently selling it for over $26,000, so this guy just struck gold. This is CSGO's real number one AK case hardened, the 670. The reason I say it's the real number one is because I ain't gonna lie, I think it looks better than the 661, which is supposed to be the number one pattern. For comparison, this 660. 70 with a Titan Hollow in worst position was sold for $21,000 less than a week ago, and the cheapest 670s are currently going for $12,000 in field tested. While well, the cheapest 661s start at well over $50,000. 
This is what losing $50,000 feels like. About a year ago, this number one pattern Nomad Knife got sold on Skimport for 320 euros. This is the best blue gem pattern for the Nomad. It's the same pattern Simple used as a play skin, I believe during some major that caused Nomad Knives to just absolutely shoot up in price. And this guy sold it for 300 bucks. The thing is, this guy still plays CSGO as well. And his inventory is only like $5, man. This guy unboxed a two-sided blue gem. 65. Oh my god, I got a knife. I got a knife. I got a knife. I got oh! A knife. Oh! oh my god. Wow. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh! Wow. Oh. This is the pattern 187. Only nine of them exist, and this one is one of the best in field tested. There's currently only one listed at over $12,000. This is the number one pattern bayonet blue gem pattern 555. This one is field tested and just got listed for around $8,200. And the funny thing is, I didn't even know this knife existed. It's really hard to find bayonet blue gems online for some reason. The only guide I found listed two gold gems and said the number one pattern was the 179, which isn't even close to being true. Thankfully, all the other blue gem patterns are much easier to find info on. CSGO has a ton of nice blue gems, and hey, even if you get a Karambit gold gem with the right pair of gloves, it doesn't look half bad. But one absolute abomination of a blue gem that I would never pay a single cent for is the MAC-10 number one blue gem pattern 95. This thing is hideous, and there's nothing you can do or say to convince me otherwise. A normal MAC-10 case harden will run you about 30 bucks, and thankfully the number one pattern is only a 120, which isn't too ridiculous, but if I catch you buying this, we're squaring up. Unfortunately, not everyone is a million and a half dollars they can spend on a blue gem, or even a mere hundred thousand if you want a really nice talon blue gem, but thankfully, the classic knife is here to save the day. Personally, I think for its price, it's one of the better looking blue gems. Something like this Blood in the Water pattern 651 is for sale in minimal wear for only $2,400, and the number 2 pattern 588 in field tested has one listed for $6,700. So if you don't feel like paying rent for the next few months, it's definitely affordable. This guy's dad unboxed a blue gem. Day 57, Fadington City. We gonna get our knife today, here we go! Let's get it. Let's fucking get it. Let's go. Uh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Day 57, motherfuckers. This is the pattern 893 Butterfly. It's actually sold for $200 overpay on Buff about two weeks ago, so after 57 days, this guy definitely profited. There's probably a lot more blue gem patterns for each knife than you think. Of course, they're incredibly rare, but there's hundreds you've probably never even seen before. Some of the most unique are two-sided blue gems. For example, the pattern 700 Nomad Knife. Not only is the play side almost full blue, but the back side is as well, except for the kind of tumor it's got going on in the middle, but that's okay. The AK has some really nice patterns as well, like the entirely blue mag. There's actually a .009 stat track factory new one in existence, but unfortunately, there is no 100% AK blue gems out there yet. A new number one knife in the world got unboxed. This time, a skeleton pattern 403 in minimal wear. It's the only one in minimal wear in existence, and also the number one pattern blue gem for the knife. Apparently field tested versions had an offer of over $110,000. There was a massive bidding war for one of them back in June. This one being minimal wear definitely adds a significant amount of value as well, and it's currently registered to an inventory of a really interesting collector. This guy has all factory new skins, a lot of them being operation collection skins as well, just really rare stuff, but nothing really worth an insane amount, just an interesting collection. Either way, if he sells this, he's set. This is a well-worn classic knife blue gem pattern 456, and some poor soul decided to sell it on the Steam Market 5 months ago for just $156. Now, this is, despite only being the 5th best pattern, definitely the best two-sided blue gem classic knife in the game. In fact, one in field tested has been sold for $11,500. 
dollars so whoever got this one on the steam market is absolutely balling this is what the number one classic night blue gem pattern looks like a new number one best condition blue gem pattern got unboxed today this time for the classic knife it's a pattern 281 and it just got unboxed in stat track minimal wear this is the seventh best blue gem pattern for the classic knife and even though honestly to me it looks better than the two ranked above it this knife is probably worth around two thousand dollars at least with one of the field tested ones listed at almost 1700 Onipixel opened one CSGO weapon case and this happened. This was a bad decision. This was a bad decision! AK, 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 AK! Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god! On one case! On one case! Now what matters is the pattern index. If this is even close to 661, I'll snap. Or close to a blue gem. It's minimal wear and it's 945. The good news is he actually profited. The AK is worth $245. The bad news, it's market price and pattern 945, which is somewhat close to a blue gem. The tier one pattern 955, which he actually owns with a ton of kettle 14 hollows on it is worth $13,000 in minimal wear. Whenever I see someone unbox a blue gem and instantly go to the steam market, I get terrified, but no watch way. this. No way. I thought I was gonna get ripped off. Holy shit, I sold my knife to get. Holy shit, holy shit. This video is a bit older and he doesn't show which pattern this thing is, so I'm not too sure what it'd be worth exactly nowadays, but hopefully he didn't sell it on the Steam market. Karimbit Blue Gems are one of, if not the best ones to unbox because the knife is so expensive as is. And the patterns for it are, of course, absolutely insane. It's definitely one of my favorites next to no band knives. This guy almost didn't realize it was a Blue Gem. <gasps> oh my god! My game crashed. Oh my god! <laughs> it's Star Trek! It's Star Trek! I know, I saw it. Star Trek tells It's blue on one side. It's blue on one side. Dude! It's the cheapest listed battle scarred skeleton blue gem is a pattern 557 for five thousand dollars so even though this guy's isn't too insane it's definitely worth a decent amount of overpay good thing he noticed it was blue